Hello, I'm David Evans with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about something we'll just call Home Buying 101. Okay, it's some very important stuff to save you a lot of time and energy and aggravation, stress, and most important to people usually is money. Yes, save you a bunch of money. On average, six to $8,000. What gets people, the elephant in the room, is when I tell them that I work for free. I do not work for free. I work for you as a home buyer for free. I am paid by the seller of the home, and here's how it works. When Joe down the street decides to sell his home, he calls a realtor, realtor comes in, gives him a presentation, sticks a sign in the yard, um, markets it, which is how you find it online, and the seller agrees to pay a 6% commission. Now, it's supposed to be that 3% is for that agent that stuck the sign in the yard. Okay, the other 3%, believe it or not, goes for your representation, for your buyer's agent, okay? And what a buyer's agent does for you and how I save you money and time and aggravation, all that are in the following videos. But that's how it's done. That 3% is designated for me, okay, to represent you. Now, if you drive by and you call the agent that's listing the home, because you want to see it and they unlock the door for you, you just forfeited your rights to have any representation on that home. That's the way it works. You have just become a gold mine to that seller, but that seller has no interest in helping you. She represents the seller first and her commission second, and her commission is now 6% instead of 3%, okay? Quick story, it's like this. If you were being sued, the silly thing to do would be to go to court without an attorney. A stupid thing to do would be to go to court, get confused, and ask your opposition's attorney for advice, right? Insanity. That's what you're doing when you buy a home without your own realtor and you're dealing with the other realtor. They have no reason to look out for you. Next video, we're gonna talk about how you're searching for homes online, what you are seeing, what you're not seeing, and a couple other gimmicks and tricks kind of behind the curtain a little bit. Thanks.